Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is Earphone Tuesdays on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel. And just like every other Tuesday this year, we're unboxing and providing you with some first impressions of a set of earphones. In this case, it's a set of Nyanka wireless earbuds, specifically the Nyanka Lite Pro True Wireless Earbuds, which have a gaming mode. So I'm really excited to try these out uh, whilst I practice for my next gaming video on the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. But in the meantime, let's see what this relatively large package from Nyanka has in it. It has Nyanka, the best gift, update your sound experience, and then on the back it has some specifications. But let's start by taking the cellophane off with my Jerry Rig Everything knife. Just make that sure that's all come off. And under the cellophane wrapping, we have a nice soft touch cardboard box. And this is obviously a sleeve. I'll put this one aside. And inside the box, ooh, it's like, it is like a gift box. It says, the best gift. And for those of you who don't know, my surname means gifts in Italian. So these are the earbuds, I'm assuming. Let's see what is inside the box as well as the earbuds. So we have a little cardboard box which contains a charging cable. So this is USB type A to USB type C. Yes, they charge using USB type C. And then I think that's it. There's nothing else in the box. So this is mostly about uh, retail packaging and the unboxing experience. And I have to say that if I were given these as a gift, I would be quite impressed. That's very nice. And maybe I've missed them. Oh yes, here, there's an instruction leaflet inside that little long cardboard box. So Nyanka. So this is the Nyanka Light Pro user manual. So Light and Pro are not two branding names you'd use for a model in the same sentence, or at least I haven't seen that up till now. Usually they're the two ends of the spectrum. But I suppose what they're trying to denote here is a certain amount of extra quality over the basic light model. Now let's look at the earbuds themselves, the Nyanka Light Pro. So it is a vertically loading charging case. There's a nice USB type C port at the bottom. There's an LED light here at the top, in the bottom half, just under the Nyanka logo. And it's an interesting one because it's slightly curved at the back and the front. So let's see what's in here. So we've got two earbuds, which are very nice. Now these don't have silicon tips. They're vertically loading and they're of the variety that don't have silicon tips and have to go in your ear and hold in without silicon tips. So I'll need to put these through their paces. What I'm going to do is pair the Nyanka Light Pro to my Google Pixel 5, which is currently one of my preferred devices. So let's see if they show up or if I need to put them back in the case. Let's see what they come up as. Oh, here we are. We've got Nyanka Light Pro. So I'm going to pair these. Ooh, okay. Um, first impression is it has a really deep bass and good sound quality. The, it is a spoken voice that gives you the signal to say that they're connected. And what I'm going to do now is put the Nyanka Light Pro through their paces using a combination of music, videos, podcasts. 
I really want to try out uh, videos to see if there's any latency. These should be using the newest Qualcomm chipset, uh, specifically the 3040 chipset. So the, the latency with in gaming or videos should be relatively low. But just first, very first impression, the way it said connected, as I put it in my ear, was very, very good. So as I said, I'll be putting these through their paces for the next few hours, and then I'll get back to you with some first impressions. There might be an ad slot in between. Uh, please watch through that or skip it as you prefer. And uh, I'll be back with our first impressions. Hello, I'm back. Right then, I've spent some quality time with the Nyanka Light Pro earbuds. And I have to say, these are really, really good. Sound quality is excellent. There's plenty of bass, but it's well balanced compared to a lot of other earbuds that tend to be just bassy and lack something in the higher ranges. The fit is quite comfortable in my ears, but obviously that's something very, very subjective. And I've spent about an hour and a half to two hours uh, listening to podcasts, uh, music, listening to uh, some audiobooks through Audible, which I, I really enjoy doing, as well as then che checking out how the Nyanka earbuds work uh, with video and more importantly with some gaming. Because these Nyanka Light Pro earbuds have a dedicated gaming mode which can be triggered by uh, triple tapping the right earbud. So when they're in your ear you triple tap that and essentially it in, invokes a uh, low latency mode. Uh, which means that if you're playing something like Call of Duty Mobile or Mobile Legends, you'll get very little, if any, uh, latency, and it makes the gaming experience a lot, lot better. For video, even just, even just in normal mode, these work great. Uh, but I didn't just use them on the Google Pixel 5. Obviously, that's a high-end smartphone that's optimized for this sort of thing. How do the Nyanka Light Pros perform with, say, the Redmi 9, a $150 smartphone that we reviewed last year, or with the Samsung Galaxy A52 5G. And I have to say that overall, the Nyanka earbuds perform really, really well. Sadly, uh, the battery life didn't, well, you know, they weren't fully charged when they came out of the box, uh, so I had to charge them a bit as well. But I have to say that overall, they performed great. My only gripe with them is that because of the vertical setting for the earbuds themselves, with my chunky fingers, I struggle sometimes to get the earbuds and take them out of their case. But apart from that, it's a pretty delightful overall package. And according to Nyanka's website, you'll get around about six hours of use of the earbuds once they're fully charged, plus an extra 28 uh, hours of charging in the case itself. So just like other true wireless earbuds that we've seen in the past, the case itself has its own 400 milliamp hour battery and that is used to charge the two 40 milliamp hour battery batteries in the earbuds themselves. So you should get plenty of battery life out of these. And I think that for around about $60, you're getting great value for money good sound quality, decent battery life, and uh, sound quality that is pleasing. Uh, it's difficult to describe, but I did find it very good and well balanced, both for spoken word, for music, and for gaming with lots of shooting. So these Nyanka Light Pro True Wireless earbuds are a recommended thing for me. I think the sound quality is great and the overall product quality is great. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll put some links in the description to where you can find out more about the Nyanka earbuds. As far as I'm aware, they're not available on Amazon just yet in the UK, but we'll update the description or the link to that whenever they are available. And 
If you have any questions, if you'd like to know more, feel free to reach out to us in the comment section below. If you liked this video, please drop us a like. And uh, more importantly, if you don't already, please do subscribe to the Take Travel Geeks here on YouTube. But for now, thanks for watching this unboxing and first impressions video of the Nyanka Light Pro earbuds. Goodbye from me.